Good morning and welcome to Brighter News. We're live on 6ABC and streaming live on our family of streaming apps. If you know anything about March Madness, you know it's all about upsets and we're celebrating a big one. Yeah, that's just exactly what happened with the Drexel Dragon women. They punched their ticket to the big dance, defeating top seeded Stony Brook in the CAA championship. And now it's time to head on to the NCAA tournament and number one Texas. Action News reporter Catherine Scott has reaction from the excited team. Drexel women's basketball, the only Philadelphia team heading to March Madness this year, men's or women's Princeton representing on the Jersey side. This was huge news for the Dragons. <laughs> That was the moment this election Sunday that Drexel women's basketball learned they'll be heading to Texas. Drexel advancing to its third NCAA tournament as a 16th seed at the Portland region. The Dragons are going down south. The Dragons will face the region's number one seed, University of Texas, in the first round. Gabriella Galati spoke with head coach Amy Mallon and junior Amaris Baker after the announcement. We're kind of what March Madness is all about. We're a team that not many people thought would be in the position they're in right now. And um, we did it, you know, we found a way to do it and we did it our way. And I think um, this team believes in each other. The CAA championship trophy sitting nearby draped in freshly cut nets. The Dragons had already punched their ticket to the tournament. They were just waiting to see the matchup. The team stopped at a restaurant in Maryland to watch the announcement on their way back from Washington, D.C., where they stunned top seeded Stony Brook 68 60 in the championship game of the Coastal Athletic Association tournament. Yeah. The team has won seven straight games, including four in four days in D.C. They'll be the only Philadelphia team, men's or women's, in this year's March Madness. This is very surreal. I mean, I envisioned this for so, so long, and the fact that it's happening is awesome. I mean, of course, being from Philly, like, it's huge, and having support behind you, it just, it just feels so good. We don't have the date and time yet of the Dragons game against the Longhorns, but we should have that information soon. In University City, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.